You're going to buy an Intel Arc with your $5,000? No, no, No. he got that for nothing and I don't think wants to keep it. I'll go back to my other card. You think so? It's sitting on my desk ready to go. Yeah. It's actually, okay. I can, I don't want to cannibalize our final episode, but there's things I could say. Yeah, just, yeah, talk about it. I've got VR working. Oh, cool. Oh, working. Actually working. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. I, uh, I figured out some of the problems I was having with Halo Infinite in the first episode first episode second episode i don't know uh but i talked about part two of the first episode yeah yeah i talked about blooming that was happening in the menus um i figured out i figured out that basically any game that i can find that has a reflection i have not tried enough games this is not a blanket yeah. statement blah 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 the games that i have tried that have a reflections option in the video settings will have issues right just turn it off and it's fine but then you don't have reflections you do I don't know how. I have no idea what's happening. I turned off reflections in Halo. I absolutely still have reflections. Thoroughly tested. Yeah, but, but there's the different ways of implementing reflections. So I think it's having issues with um, ray tracing reflections. Oh, okay. I think that's what's going on. All right. I have not dove into it enough. That might be completely incorrect. I'm sorry. Okay. There was a comment under part two of part one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That was real, by the way. That intro is actually what happened. Well, except I wasn't actually mad about it, but... Yeah, but, like, for real. The video went up, and neither I nor Luke had seen uh, an edit of it, and uh, we were like, yo. Speaking of which, there was, like, problems with the edit of the second one. There was stuff edited in that, like, didn't happen. Like what? Uh, Like, I talked about how it black screened once. Um, and like how it acted in a certain way. And then there was a blue screen put on screen that had a specific error code in it and stuff. Uh. So people in the comments were like, wait, what? And they, they thought that I did a great job of identifying what the problem was because the error code did have to do with GPU failure. (laughs) But I was like, this was what happened to me was a black screen. It did not blue screen at any point in time. Usually when it would blue screen, it would show up in event viewer. My problem was that it didn't show up in event viewer. Um, so this is what happens when we kind of take like random projects like this and inject them into a video pipeline that is not really designed for randomness. Um, okay. Well, there sorry. was a few other things similar to that where what was shown on screen was not what I was actually talking about. Okay. Um, but yeah, there was, there was comments under the video talking about how OBS 29 beta one, um, had released and that had support yep. for AV one encoding through Intel. Cool. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I don't feel bad about what I said in the video because it's a beta, but yep. I should try this out for the next video. That totally makes sense. Cool. I did so. Um, it doesn't do it for streaming. Right. Yeah, because the platform has to support AV1 ingesting. So Yeah, so it just not... does it for recording. Yeah, but, um, but when OBS... But it's still interesting. Oh. Well, no, it's just it's, oh, okay. it's interesting that they have it. I would still knock them down a little bit because NVIDIA's came out with the launch of a new card. Right. Intel's did not. Yeah. Intel's is still not out. It's in beta. Right. Um, And it is super temperamental. I thought it didn't work at all because I selected it and then I went down a rabbit hole of like half an hour trying to like read documentation online to figure out if I was using the right thing and all this different type of stuff. I was using the right thing. It just errors like 70% of the time. But if you just keep clicking it, and just dis- dismissing the errors, eventually it will work. And when it does work, it actually works great. It works really, really well. Okay. Recording in AV1 with Intel Arc has been fantastic. I recorded a bunch of Halo gameplay. It's really good. It's genuinely really, really good. Um, but yeah, super buggy, still in beta, only for recording. So like, if you wanted this card for a streaming card not applicable currently what i said about don't buy things for future promises is still entirely yeah valid but and uh my vr driver is an alpha not beta private (laughs) alpha (laughs) but it's working yeah so that's cool so that's something there's a lot of stuff like the av1 recording was honestly like it surprised me how good it was oh yeah av1 is it also was stunning how it just didn't impact my gameplay performance at all Okay, well, that's better than what we were able to say about H.264. I was like, wow, this is really good. Okay. Like, the future of Intel GPUs, me testing that, it really made me think, like, I'm really excited for Battle Mage. Yeah. 
or celestial is, or celestial or whatever yeah. i'm really excited about the future because this av1 recording is really good and honestly once i turned off reflections it was working is a 350 dollars card that was taking notoriously bad for performance halo infinite and doing pretty okay okay here's a wild take is intel entering the gpu market and being even worse what it finally takes for people to just overlook AMD's flaws. Because <laughs> I was saying, you're talking about this, you're going, blah, 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 arc, blah, 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 arc, arc, blah, blah, AV1, arc, blah, 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 AV1, arc, arc, arc. And I'm kind of sitting here going, yeah, that's nice. But like, you know, realistically, NVIDIA is still going to keep 70% or 80% discrete market share or whatever else. And then I was thinking, you're talking about the AV1 encoder, and I'm like, yeah, oh, you know what? Come to think of it, we haven't seen uh, AMD's RDNA 3 AV1 encode engine yet, and that's coming really soon. And like, I'm like excited. And I'm like, oh, I'm like really excited. And, you know, A, I'm just kind of desperate for a GPU other than an NVIDIA GPU to yeah. be excited for. Yeah. And ARC didn't really live up to the hype that I had built up for myself. And B, I'm sitting here going, is my excitement relative to what you're talking about? I it's, don't know. It, it is that type of thing where like one alternative is often not enough. You need like an army of alternatives so that yeah. people consider the yeah. various alternatives. Yeah. So but not I, too many. Not too many. Yeah. Then it's just like choice paralysis or whatever. Yeah, but you need you need multiple alternatives so that you you actually care about them at all. Um Wazootronic. Yeah, AMD, AMD engineers have infiltrated Intel and created Arc GPUs to boost AMD public perception <laughs> confirmed. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's uh, Once you can stream with AV1, yeah. which will happen. Oh yeah, that'll happen. Twitch, Twitch has probably been working on it for years. They just need to turn it on. Yeah. Like finish it and turn it on. YouTube yeah, as well. Like they'll, they'll figure yeah. it out. So yeah. once that is a It'll possibility... Come. If the difference in performance between Intel and NVIDIA stays the same, non... I, what the? Which will happen. Oh, yeah, that'll happen to Twitch. Wow, that was a little random. I don't know how that even happened. But cool. anyways, um, I could definitely see streamers using it, especially not ones that just like have infinite money. Oh, because yeah, Because it's a sure. $350 card yep. that if that AV1 encoder was doing streaming, that would be the way to do it. Yeah. Like unquestionably, yeah. The quality is so good, yeah. And like it oh, did it so outstanding. effortlessly. Like it's it would be super super impressive if platforms could use it. So it's a it's again one of those things where like I'm kind of excited about the next generation because yeah. by the time the next gen generation comes out, maybe the industry will have moved forward and more platforms will accept AV1. And Conan Kudo says useful. apparently YouTube will ingest AV1 already. I don't know about live. I don't think live. I, I'm pretty sure you I, can upload a VOD that's encoded in AV1, but there's no compelling reason to do it because you can upload a VOD encoded at any bit rate you want. Um, so the main advantage of AV1 is its quality advantages at low bit rates. So the real benefit is is streaming. I did do very high bit rate recordings through AV1 just to see how it would hit the card and it handled it amazingly well that's cool i did really 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 high bitrate av1 recordings while i was playing halo infinite and i felt no noticeable performance impact on gameplay that's super cool it was like it was it was actually really good but again i keep coming back to the you can't stream with it so that will help some people sure yeah some people that do local recording but i think that is a subset of a subset um so i don't know 